Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Best Seller Blueprint. Oh my goodness, listen, you guys. You want to write down this website. You want to know this man, okay? LessTheBookCoach.com. You want to write that down, LessTheBookCoach.com. You may or may not know, six years ago, I published, self-published this book, Less Help Me With It. It became, uh, it, we, I wrote the book, published the book, and it was a bestseller within six months, which is unheard of. This book, Take Your Power Back Now, The Ultimate Confidence Guide for Women. Um, in the last five years, this book started, launched a women's empowerment movement. We've done over $8 million in sales. We've helped a lot of women gain a lot of confidence, make a lot of money. And uh, this book is what kicked it all off. So super grateful to have Les joining us here today. I'm going to introduce him here in a moment. But today for you guys joining and for tuning in live, you're catching the replay, we're going to show you how to use your book as a tool to leverage yourself as an expert in any niche to command higher fees for your expertise because nothing gets attention like having your own book. The simplest ways to organize your ideas so you actually bang out your book in a, in a strategic way and actually get it done. Type in the chat. How many of you guys have like 12,000 ideas for a book? You've been trying to work on this for like the last five years. You have chapters all over the place. It's this like looming project that one day, one day you're going to get this done. People have been telling you that you have, so, you should write a book, but how do you do it? Um, I also want to thank you guys for writing in all of the questions. We have pages and pages of questions from you guys who registered. So thank you. Uh, we're going to get to these here today as well. How to set up your content, I think, is the biggest struggle that people have. So your book becomes a bestseller, delivers massive value, showcases your best teaching stories um, so that your readers actually want to devour your content and that you get it onto all of the online platforms. How do you use a book? Like a book is like one piece of the puzzle, right? And it's very confusing. Publishing. We had a lot of questions about, do I self-publish? Do I publish the thing? Do I get a publisher? Uh, the most costly mistakes to avoid while trying to get your book out there and how I've been able to generate speaking engagements, attract higher fees for my coaching services and really use a book as a marketing tool. So welcome to the call, Les Kletke. Welcome. Thanks. Um, the great questions and those are the questions that everyone has. Uh, the, the questions that you ran through are, are what clients typically ask me in the first session when we sit down and they're the same questions you had six years ago. So let's get started. Yeah and then joining us also is Kelly Weaver who just you just published your book. Yes. Just went through yes. the whole process. Kelly's a part of our team. She's a mindset mentor here at Take Your Power Back Now. So excited to hear from you in a bit as well about your journey and experience. So I met Les at a, um, a CAPS convention, the Canadian Association of Professional Speakers. I'm going to run by this quick introduction so you understand who you're, who is here today. Okay, the mastery that is here today. I had the I had the, the blessing of actually sitting at your table and everybody at this convention, there was like hundreds of people there and they were all like big name speakers and they were, you know, it was a new world for me to get into and everybody knew less. Everyone thought he was like the freaking bomb. And I was like, oh shit, I'm going to pester him with questions at the table. And um, he actually told me, because I already had published one book myself which was really hard. And he's like, oh, you should do another book, Vanessa. We'll do your next one together. And then I posted something on social media a few years later when I was in Hawaii and it got so many comments, this topic of taking your power back now and how messy it was. And Liz said, hey, hey, Vanessa, this is the next book. Let's do it. And that's how, uh, that's how this Take Your Power Back Now book began. So super grateful that I got to know less at this convention and, um, it's just so grateful that you're here today sharing with us. So why don't we start with like, what are the biggest, you know, things that people struggle with when they're, when they're starting to write their book, you know, what, what is it that they stumble on and let's, you know, jump into this. He's got an amazing process. Um, the bestseller blueprint, this process of actually writing your book. And that's, that's the biggest thing that people stumble on is, and as I see in the, in the questions, I uh, got a million ideas uh, and to stay with it 
and and to get the uh, the manuscript completed. Lots of people, good intentions, and it's it's like New Year's. Uh, you know, we join the gym, and uh, by January third, we know that we're not going to go to the gym. Uh, so you got to have a, a system uh, to stay with it and to make it as simple as possible. And and that's what. I believe the the Isri system is about. Then you used it. Kelly has used it in her book. Um, so I say the first thing you got to do, and and this shouldn't take more than twenty minutes, is sit down and make a list of the twenty five topics that have to be included in your book. That's it. Okay. And people say, "Well, what's what's that?" Like, if you take twenty minutes, make a list of 25 topics that have to be in your book. You're further than you've ever been before. You already have your table of contents done. Each one of those has become, is gonna become a chapter. I yeah. ask you to spend 20 minutes and you've got your table of contents done. How good is that? I think a lot of people really get lost in, well, how do I set up the chapter? How much is saying too much? What stories do I put in? What do I, how does the actual structure of the chapter look? And I remember when we worked together, I would get on the phone with Les every morning for about 20 minutes. After I would go to the gym, I'd wake up at 5.30 in the morning, work out, get home, grab a coffee, jump on with Les, and we would structure each chapter. And then in the afternoon, I would write a chapter and within six weeks, the book was written. So having somebody's perspective, uh, Les, you've helped how many people now with their books in the last? Uh, since Kelly published 85. 85. Last week, last week it was only 84, but, but Kelly's book went to freeze and press now. So it's 85. <laughs> Amazing. So Kelly, you actually published your book and you got a publisher as well? Yes. So Les recommended um, freeze and press, which is a, uh, company in Canada. And so I uploaded the manuscript and just actually got my evaluation back yesterday. So now it's going to move to the next stage. So it's very exciting. Oh my God. So Les has been in this game for, I don't know how many years, but a long time. Eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine years, you know, a lot of the, so one of the things I really appreciated working with you was your um, extensive list of resources, editors. There's a lot of there's a lot of moving pieces to writing a book. Writing is like one part. So let's go through this because you gave us a great tip. Starting with the table of contents, 25 topics, right? So let's break it down. Let's let's go from there. <clears throat> I believe that a book is 50,000 words. That's a 200 page book uh, and, and in a nine by six format and we go nine by six because that fits in a lady's handbag she can carry it with her on the bus or to the beach <clears throat> so there's a lot of little reasons behind the scenes that you don't have to know just trust me that that's why we're going to do this okay so we we now have a, <clears throat> a goal of 50,000 words which is 25 chapters that means that we've got 2,000 words per chapter 2,000 words is still too much to write in one assignment if you don't have a goal. Let's break it down into four component parts. The introduction, where you set the stage. Tell us what you're going to tell us. The story, that's where you relate that real story that you've talked about, the story that you've told at the water cooler, the story that you've told at the cocktail parties, what you're familiar with, what you know. <clears throat> and then the third part, and this is where we get into the into the the really into the interview part of it is where i say vanessa why did this make your list what's the meaning here what's the reason for this chapter and kelly will attest to this too she knows that it was coming in every interview like why did this make your list tell me what it's done for you because that's why the reader is here they want to know what it did for you and the fourth part is the impact and in the impact we have to give the reader something that they can use as early as tomorrow. So the impact is what did you learn from this? How can the reader apply it? And so that that's the call, call it the call to action or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I, I like to keep it simple and the whole process is about simplifying this so this is uh, we, really we call me. it isri isri well, so we call it the isri introduction story 
reason, impact. Each chapter has those four component parts and we're writing 500 words in each section, which gives us the 2000 word chapter and you have the, the table of contents, you know that you're gonna do uh, another one next week. Now we did yours in a month, but typically yeah. most of my clients, we do one a week. Uh, and, and that way they get a book done in six months. Now, I, I don't work with anyone who will not commit to a chapter a week. Because if you're not if you're not going to spend that two or three hours a week, you're not serious about it, um, and and I'm I'm not the right guy for you. And and if I have to start each interview session with uh, Vanessa, what was your book about again? I haven't talked to you for three weeks, and if I have to ask you that question, I don't think you're getting good value from the book coach. Yeah, and I think that's very I think that's very practical. Okay, a chapter a week. Most, I think the biggest problem with most people is they start it and then, oh, you know, oh, other, other priorities come together, other things happen. A book is kind of like a big project. I love to, I love to um, talk about a book as kind of like a baby. You become, it, it's, it's a whole new identity. It takes on a whole new life of its own. It does wonders for your business. The, the feeling you get when you, open the box the mailbox and you freaking look at this thing like i got goosebumps okay wow when you like when you actually read it yourself as I sometimes when, when you can do this with your yeah. own book that yeah. big thrill big thrill oh big thrill like i sometimes read my book again it's a six years i'm like shit actually sounds pretty damn good. I should do a live stream video on it or, you <laughs> yeah. know, I'm going to do some, this is actually damn good. And when I wrote this book with Les, <clears throat> I didn't have the headline until 15 chapters in. Okay. So this is another huge problem that a lot of people, I have a book, I don't know what to call it. So it's the real process. And I think the accountability, I'll say that hands down is what helped me get this thing out because I was sitting on this for five years years. I had so many people telling me, you've got to tell your story, Vanessa, you've got to tell your story. And having the, you know, the accountability and the process this Iris process, uh, having uh, less of support to do this was paramount to having this book out. You know, there's, there's a lot of compartments to this. There's the ISBN number, there's getting an editor, there's getting a uh, what do you call the person who formats it? There's getting a designer. Yeah. You bet. And, and the questions that you go through uh, with a designer uh, and, um, and it is not a linear process. So it's not about write your book and then go to the editor and then go to the designer. Well, it, it can be, but that just takes so much longer. So I suggest that at about 50, chapter 15 or so, we start to look at books that we like and the, and the look of them so that you can design or you can help your designer because when your designer calls you and you've, you've left all of this to the last minute, now it's the time that the book is ready to go to press and your designer says, okay, I'm going to do your book tomorrow. Uh, I just want to get a few of the of the details. Do you want the page numbers at the top or at the bottom? Do you want the page numbers on the outside or do you, do you want a them on, the, on the center? It's like do you want the chapter kitchen. name on the top or do you want the book name on the top? Do you want to start each chapter on the right hand page? Do you want to drop it down a third of the way? Do you want to drop capital? And I've been in this business for a long time and it's too much for me at yeah. one time. You need the right support. Now, what I love about this process is I've had so many people, at, clients, per, clients ask me, who helped you write your book? I need help. Uh, so Kelly is a member of our team. Uh, Kelly is the most recent person who's publishing her book with less of support. But over the last six years, I think we've had between six or 10 of our clients work with you directly. Um, clients from our Bikini Business Coach program. These are women who are serious about their business, you know, hey, I, I see the value of having a book. I want to put it out there. Um, and they have all loved the process because there's a completion. There is a book that you get to, you know, actually hold in your hand. You open the mailbox. Wow, it's here. I've done it. And then you can use this. And we're going to talk about this in a moment here, how to use it in your marketing, 
how to command higher fees, how to use it to book speaking events, unless I know you've worked with not just my clients, but also associations, you know, that have written books for all of their tribe. And there's a lot that goes into it, a lot of little decisions. So these people that do the parts, different parts in the, in the publishing process are really key. Let's talk about the difference between self-publishing versus getting a publisher, because there's a, just a whack of questions here. Um, from Short uh, answer, what's the difference between self-publishing and having a publisher? Yeah, and two which years. one should you do? Short answer is two years. It takes two years if you go through a traditional publisher. It adds two years to the release date of your book. Hmm. Okay. Well, why and, would, and then why would somebody want to do that versus self-publish? Uh, bigger distribution. The, a publisher then uh, gets you wider distribution. And they will look after getting it in the bookstores. Okay. When you self-publish, you own the book and you use it as you will to to help your speaking business to to help your your consultative business to for whatever you want but you can turn that around and and i mean you you know yourself we did your book in six months when you you have to have the manuscript completed before a publisher will will take it and then they have to approve it and they get a few thousand applicants every day. So they're not waiting just for yours. They're going to go through it. And if it is approved, then it has to be edited. Then they have to design it. And it's going to go out in their catalog. Now, at this point, the catalog for, and catalogs traditionally go out, book catalogs traditionally go out in September. So the, the, September 2021 has already been set. Those books are already in it. So it's like a year process. One so if, if we do it, if we get on it now and it's cracker and, and you get, you know, now you've got six months to write the book, get it cleaned up and submit it and a publisher has to accept it because next March they're going to be deciding on the books that go in the, the 2021 catalog now that just goes out in 2021 so it's going to be 22 before the bookstore says this is the book that i want to sell right so if we started today and you go with the traditional publisher we can be selling books in early 2022 and versus self-publishing it which means there's that editing process designing process on your own plate or my own plate. Let's talk about myself. That's what I did. I self-published it. And six years ago, that is what I recommended. Right. And now what would you recommend? The route that Kelly went. That's why Kelly went that route because I now promote working with a, a hybrid publisher. Now the company that I deal with is, is Friesen Press. Just because I've gotten familiar with them and, and, I like to deal with them and, and I have a, a, a pretty good relationship there, but there's other companies that do the same thing. They're not, they're not magic and, and alone or, you know, they don't sponsor me. So there's other, there's other companies, but what Friesen Press does is you keep ownership of your book, hmm. but they also include it in the catalog that goes out to bookstores. Well, that's is cool that you keep ownership of your book. Yes. No, uh, and the um, lady's name is, is Leslie Everett. You might remember her from uh, the CAPS. She was uh, uh, president of the uh, Global Speakers. And Leslie Everett, that, that short little lady uh, that talks about branding. Her, her whole thing is personal branding. <laughs> and her logo is a giraffe. Right. And <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and her book was a giraffe. And she says when she was writing her book, okay, she, she had decided that, you know, she was, she was going to go with a traditional publishing route for greater uh, exposure. And, and, but the only thing that she would not tolerate from a publisher is a yellow cover. That was the one thing that was just against her. Okay. Like, 
Okay, so what happens? <laughs> Leslie ever finds a publisher and the book comes back and just the way fate is. They said, this, this book is about branding and you have to have a special brand and we're gonna make your cover yellow. <laughs> so if I- So she sold out and she says, you know what, yellow's not that bad. <laughs> like sometimes you gotta make a, bit, uh, a business decision and say, listen, this is gonna work. And and her book about branding has a giraffe on it, and you know what? It's done pretty doggone well. So, if I understand, getting a publisher is a good thing, but you have to watch out that the downfall is that you would lose kind of. It, lose it, it's a good thing if if you are a known author, but I I am doubtful, and I no dis, disrespect for the people that are. Uh, in our audience, but you know, I don't think Al Gore is listening to us or, or Hillary Clinton. I mean, those kind of people get, get a book deal right away, but we're not, we're not known authors. So you got to go through the process. You got to try to sell it to them. And people think now and Al Gore and, and Hillary do get those big numbers, but right. the average advance from a publisher is enough to go out for a meal at a family restaurant, no drinks. Yeah, this is a very different <laughs> world we live in. I mean, uh, 20 years ago, writing a book, becoming a published author, getting a publisher was a big deal. Now there's so many people doing it. You really have to have a, a huge platform, I think, for most publishers to take you seriously is, is kind of where my, my understanding is it. Uh, and most publishers pick up books that have that have been self-published. When you self-publish and you get it out there for those first two years so that you can use it, by the time you have proven yourself that you don't need a publisher, that's when they'll come to you. It's like it's like the uh, the bureaus and being a speaker. Right. Once you're established uh, and don't need a bureau, then they're saying, "Hey, we'll represent you." <laughs> so. Same thing, you know, prove that you're worthwhile Yeah. and, and the publishers, but, but then a publisher will pick you up and do the international marketing. Um, we'll put it in a different language. I think this one, this one has, has gone uh, international. So worked with, with this lady and she was a friend also from the Speakers Association and she wrote a book about being a, a, a warrior, not a warrior. And I said, this thing is, is too woo woo. Like, you know, she joined secret societies and yada, yada, yada. And I said, this thing is too woo-woo. And my editor said, no less, this is what the world wants. And I said, Ugh. So anyways. The uh, world, I think the world is waking up and we, the world wants to hear people's stories, woo-woo or not woo-woo. Um, so she told her story. I worked with her. Uh, she got a movie deal in India. Wow. <laughs> So that's how much I know about books. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's a special calling, right? When you, have, when, when you have this calling to write a book, it's kind of like, you know, you wouldn't and have, if you didn't have the means to do it. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's like something that you're supposed to do. So I know that you have an amazing process. I, I want Kelly to share here in a minute uh, what it was like for her recently. Now I, I can attest my experience working with you was amazing. And I know that you have an amazing offer for our audience here and a way for them, whether they're um, already published, whether they are just at the beginning stages and maybe uh, might have been like myself six years ago, kind of thinking this is too overwhelming. I'm trying to do this on my own. It's going to take forever. Um, you have maybe pieces and parts of your books in different areas in the house uh, or on this computer over here or a little manuscript over there or an idea that's been in your brain for the last 10 years and you want to finally get it out there. Uh, Les, tell us about the program that you have for the audience and how they can take advantage of the promotion. Well, and, and I've run the boot camps in the past. We've, had, we've done boot camps where it's a, it's a week-long process and you come in on, on Friday night, we go through the ISRI process and I explain it in a little more detail than I did, you know, here. And we, we go through the the getting your table of contents ready, making your list of 25 items and, and we actually outline 
a chapter. Then on Saturday morning, you write the chapter. We take two hours and you sit down and write it and then share that chapter. We come back, share the chapter and, you know, people say, well, geez, I came here to write. I didn't come here to read. And by the end of the weekend, they're saying, you know what? The feedback from other people was so valuable. And then we, the Saturday afternoon, we do another chapter. Same thing. I go through uh, the outline with you, help you build the outline, just as I do in the interview sessions. So, and we do another one Sunday morning so that you go home from the weekend with an outline of your entire book and three chapters written. So it's a weekend, it's a boot camp. I remember you you, you were doing these boot camps live many years yeah, ago. That's yes. how I kind of got involved with this. So it's a weekend event. You, you get started within the weekend. You have your outline, which is super powerful because then you know what to write next time you sit down to write. And you have three chapters done. Or else, yeah. or else you get your money back. Or else you get That's money. how confident I am in this thing. But, and, and I did one in, in uh, Montreal, Canada in uh, January, and, and it works. And then people said, Why, what if we did this virtual? And because of the conditions now, uh, so I have a, a virtual boot camp. And what I would like to offer your, your viewers is that we'll, we'll do two, and one will be on a weekend where we do Saturday, Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, like it's as intense, give me the weekend. And another one where we will do the Friday night, outline your book, Saturday and the, the following Saturday. So people that say, oh, you know, might not, okay, uh, might not work for them to, uh, to do an intense weekend like this. And um, I'll be real honest, uh, you won't get much else done that weekend. No, this, this is, what, this is this I is, think what people need is the accountability, the focus, the system. If you don't have your, your you shouldn't have an outline. You know, you're gonna do the outline together yep. during that weekend. And I know that these virtual boot camps normally you sell them for seven hundred dollars. Yes. And we're gonna give our audience here a super discount for five hundred dollars. Four ninety five. Four ninety five, and the website is lessthebookcoach.com and there's a code yep. you put in the code because people have to contact you right they have to go yep. to that website lessthebookcoach.com look for the boot camp and if they send me a message then we'll we'll talk about uh how this process works and if it's right for them and if if any of your viewers listeners uh, contact me this weekend. I'll throw in uh, an hour-long session where we actually uh, see if they if they need a book, if they want a book, how they could use a book. So I'm I'm offering them an extra uh, hour as an individual before beforehand before the boot camp. Super powerful. So you guys check out lessthebookcoach.com. Use the code. Take your power back now. Look for uh, the virtual boot camps. It's you know, right yep. on his website. And then um, make a note, say Vanessa sent me and, uh, and you'll get the discount price. Very generous. And also an hour of less this time, because I think a lot of this, and I'm going to ask Kelly here, what your experience has been. Um, because this, this is the, the big problem, right? Is do I need a book? How do I write the book? What should my book be about? How could I use it? It's there's so many questions. Um, and I, like I said, the accountability and the system so helped me. Kelly, what was your experience like? I could not have written this book without less. So let me just back up a second after all the things that you all have said. I had this book also within me for the past five years. I tried several times to write it myself. I am a certified English teacher. I taught kids <laughs> how to write for my job. I could not write this book because there's something very different as we know, Vanessa, with our clients, when we write their stories, it's so vulnerable and it's personal. So I can't emphasize to you enough. I don't care if you like me certified in English and do it for a living. You need a book coach. You need someone to help you um, 
inter and what Les is amazing at is, and I see several comments over here, so I want to address that. When I first came to Les, I had a book that I thought was going to be seven chapters, and Les said, <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. It has to be 25. It has to be 50,000 words. I was like, well, I don't have that inf much information. And he said, yes, you do. And he forced me to sit down and write 25 topics. And I did it. And then each week he interviews you. So he pulls the content from you. And that's what's important because your reader, he's able to tell you what your reader needs to know. And so that's where his brilliance comes in is these questions that he asks you. And then once your chapter is outlined in those four different pieces, it was simple to sit at the computer and write. It took away the whole anxiety and it was all the things I taught my students, have an outline, have an idea, like all of those things, but it's very different when it's yourself. And so I see some of you writing like, oh, I have many ideas. He can help you with that. But the first thing is that you just have to sit down and 25 topics on that, on that topic. So my book is called Living Your Own Aloha, Five Steps to Manifesting Your Dreams. So I outline a process using the word aloha as the five steps that I use to manifest my life. I moved from Pennsylvania to Hawaii six years ago. And, um, but there's other topics that I have to explain around those steps, right? It's not just those five steps. There's other topics that factor into that, which Les helped me pull out. Yeah, amazing. And so, so uh, just looking at the questions, I'd just like to add that the, some of the questions are, you know, people have so many topics and, and they can't decide what to write. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if you'll get the 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 chart, but it's the Isri chart and where you make a list of the topics. So if you have three or four books running around in your head, then use three or four charts. Sort out the books and the chart that you fill in the first that fills in itself naturally is the book that you want to write because I get that question a lot. I think the action step here for people is to join the virtual boot camp, work with less and get the clarity that you need because clarity is power. That's what's going to get you into action. And that's, that's why the hour before, because some of the, some people will say, well, I don't know what I want to write. I'll send you a couple of these charts and this will allow you, it'll force you to sort out which book you want to do first. And by, by filling in the, the charts in the other ones, it gives you that, that piece of knowing, I don't have to remember that. I don't have to include it in this book. Yeah. I've got to put away. It's in a safe place. I'll remember that. Hey, did that ever happen, Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> 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 where we where we started another cha uh, chart for the second for the second book and said okay that's safe now it's it's yep. in the bullpen yeah so, and I think yeah. that's the clarity is what's really important this is something that we talk about on a daily basis with our clients that take your power back now clarity is power so clarity of this belongs in this book this belongs in that book this is the one I'm focusing on this is the chapter I'm writing today this is the chapter I'm writing this week having the accountability the system. This somebody, because I know less, this is, this is a way for, I've had so many people ask questions over the years, Vanessa, how do I write my book? Who did you, who, you know, can you give me any resources? Can you help me? Uh, and, you know, I've just passed them on to less um, because that's not what we do here, but it's, it's a really big, uh, a really big part of your branding. And it can be so overwhelming and take so long and cost so much money trying to do it on your own, banging your head against the wall, never finishing the book is one thing, never starting it or starting it and having pieces. And the next piece of it is, well, is the book that I'm going to write actually going to benefit my brand? Is it, is it going to go in the right vein? Is it going to position me properly? Or is it just going to be something that I write like a life, a, a, like a, like a memoir or something? So this is another really important key uh, factor when considering what book you should start with, because your book is ultimately going to be um, like a big business card, right? You're going to be able to approach speaking, um, you know, event companies. You're going to be, you're going to be able to 
extend your hand and say, hey, I, I can talk on this topic. This, this book got me onto Fox, CBS, NBC, morning television shows. I went uh, all over the place from Las, Las Vegas to, to Connecticut. Um, and I was invited to talk on topics of women's empowerment, uh, confidence. And so a book can take you places. Uh, a book can also, you know, you can use it online to gain massive credibility. This is something that I tell our clients all the time. Get, get a 3D image of your working on title. Get a 3D image whipped up. It's going to cost you maybe 40, 50 bucks, maybe $5 on Fiverr if you, if you, you know, get a great, no, less is no. Okay. So it's going to cost you a bit more, but get a good 3D image. Okay. Created for your book. You can put this in your, in your email, say author of the upcoming book. That in itself is huge. It could take you a little while. Um, but being, being a published author means that you are serious. You're in the game. You're a serious player. You know, you're an expert. Um, and without having the accountability in the system, it could take you years. So Kelly, what, how long did it take you to get your book kind of written and, and done? And okay, this is now ready to go to the publisher. Nine months. And I had, and Les will know this, you know, you will have uh, potential setbacks. I have, I, that's another thing I want to say is you're never too busy to write a book. If it's really something that you want to do, you will do it. You, you know, I have two teenage daughters, a husband, a full-time job. I, you know, help and work for you. Um, and I could do it. And I wrote a book. So, um, and the reason I was able to do that was because of less and the process. So um, it's totally, totally feasible. And my book would have been done probably sooner, but life happens, things get in the way. There were a few weeks, honestly, that, you know, um, but, no, it, but it got done. Great. I think nine months is fantastic. Like you said, you have a full-time job, two teenage kids, a husband, uh, a career coaching here with us, and you were still able to get your book done out in nine months. It's phenomenal. Yeah. So guys, I highly recommend that you check out Les's uh, virtual boot camp. Um, he's going to give you the, um, the discount here for being a part of our uh, Love Leaders tribe. Take your power back now tribe. Go to lessthebookcoach.com. Use the, when you reach out on the website, uh, send Les a message, send him your ideas. Make sure you put the code, take your power back now on there. And he'll make sure that you get the hour bonus call with him and the $200 off. So it's $4.95 for the weekend. And that way you'll have the entire, the entire outline of your book. You'll know what, what you're going to talk about and you'll have three chapters done. And sometimes that's all we need, right? Is like, just get in there, get the process going. I know um, once you see results, you'll get motivated to do more. You'll have already an, you know, an experience of being able to put something out and feel really good about that. And then I know Les uh, also has different programs for working with individuals uh, if you want more. So uh, that's also available. If you want to work with him on more of a one-on-one -on -one basis, have a chat with him about that. Wow. Um, wow. So thank you for that generous offer. What, um, let's talk about, let's talk about um, bestsellers. Let's talk about eBooks versus real books, because that seems to be another big question that we're getting in here. What would you say to people who maybe um, are thinking, oh, well, we're doing ebook instead, or maybe who have an ebook and now want to put it into publishing? The, the, amount of, the amount of work to get the manuscript is the same, okay? So what, what I help people with is to write their manuscript. Then you decide if you want to do a uh, hardcover, you know, like, like – this kind of book. This is the first guy that uh, won the, the first Amazing Race, right? Like hardcover, bestseller, the whole deal. Um, or you want to do soft cover, you know, uh, like this. And uh, Josh Pauls is a three-time uh, Olympian. Uh, he's using this as a speaking uh, lessons learned on my way to the podium, three-time gold medal and uh, the speaking podium or if you want to use it as an uh, have it published as an ebook or if you want to voice it and and have an audio book but you still have to write the manuscript you have to have solid material 
And that's, that's what I help people with. And then whichever format you want to use, those are things that we decide just as you did when you started to look for a designer. So we know, you know, which way we want to go and, and we'll decide as what's, what's best for your business. Uh, if you're using it as a promotional tool, if you're leaving it as a legacy in your business, if it's, if it's simply a memoir or if it's cathartic, I would say that probably close to a quarter of my clients have no intent of ever publishing. They're writing it for themselves. Writing a book is a cathartic process. When I started this, I had no healing idea process. that healing there process. would be that Absolutely. big a demand. Right. Nobody told me that when I was starting. You know, I, I, I didn't know. But uh, that's, a, that's a huge part of it. So, uh, you know, we'll, in that first discussion, we'll decide why you want to write a book and, and what your audience is. And then we'll determine what's the right method or the, 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 the right way of publishing it. Yeah. You know? And I think having, the, uh, having your expertise, your perception, your years of wisdom, your resources, you know, this publisher, this publisher, do it this way, do it this way is really important um and i had a phenomenal experience with you less as kelly did as our other clients have you know i have i had self-published a smaller book first uh, a couple of years before that and it took me over a year and a half uh what i didn't know was that uh you know you, you really have to know kind of your your marketing if you are going to use it for business it does have to kind of match up with your brand um, so, you know, I, I, I didn't know how to look at this thing. I thought I'd just write a book, you know, and then it was a, a much smaller book. So it didn't have the kind of like, you know, this is my first book here from bankrupt to $900 a day selling mops. It's got 10 or something chapters. It's a lighter book. It's an easy, quick read, but this one is like the real deal. It looks like a real book. It reads like one. Uh, this is the one that, you know, really might, might, that Kelly's got it too. This is the one that you know started the the whole movement. This this book launched an, uh, a global women's empowerment movement, uh, and a lot of the topics that are in this book I use to you know expand upon uh, in our masterminds. So whether so we have some questions here in the chat. You know how do I can I can I write a book based on my program? Yeah, you could absolutely do that. Could you write a book that's a memoir? Yeah, you could do that. Um, and I'll, I'll attest the, the actual process of getting these stories out onto paper is you, you become the expert by the, the doing of the process. It, it's incredible. It really is an incredible process. And then to hold it in your hand, you know, um, the first time you go to any kind of networking event or, you know, what I, what I do with these books, when our clients join our high level masterminds, we mail them a copy. Just told it myself. It's a little secret. Uh, so we mail I our work with, I work with a lot of speakers, that. and and they use the book in speaking. Okay, and and the one thing, and this goes against you know the wisdom of, of the speaking industry, but uh, I say absolutely, do not sell at the back of the room. You know, people tend to to sell at the back of the room and 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 view that as an opportunity for sales. I think that cheapens you as a speaker and the event. I I am opposed to that. What I do, I say that you as a speaker and any, any kind of business, you have three opportunities to use a book in your business. Before the speaking engagement, where you use it to sell yourself. Somebody calls you and says, hey, we'd like you to speak at our, our meeting. Do you have something that it fit? And instead of going through a long harangue on the phone, I say, can I send you a book so that you can look at what I, what I have to say? Use it as a promotional tool. That's before. At the event, that is selling from the back of the room, <laughs> what I say is after you've negotiated your fee, then I say to the organizer, if you buy a book for everybody in the audience, I'll sell it to you for half price. A book is t typically 20 bucks. You buy a book for everybody in the audience. I'll sell it to you for 10 bucks. 
you got to remember this comes from a different budget. They have a promotional budget, they have a speaker's budget, and they have an educational budget. So we're talking a different budget. You're better off doing that and then you get 10 bucks for everybody in the audience. Then and they all walk away with your book. And they you sign everyone, book. you sign everyone before you go to the event. With, with your name and the date of the event. Then when you're done speaking, you say, the organizing committee has found it in their budget to buy a book for everyone. I would like you to come by and I'll personalize it for you. So now when they come up at the end of your presentation, all you have to do is say, what's your name? And, and, and you're writing that in the book. And then you have the time to say, do you know of anyone else that would benefit from this message? Instead of saying, eh, you know, trying to make change for a 20. Well, that's stupid. Now you're saying, do you know anyone else that, that, can, that would benefit from this message? I always felt if I didn't get three recommendations at a speaking engagement, I didn't do a good job that day. And then after, after the book, after the event, send the organizer a, a book as a thank you. I have, you know, we talked about the format of publishing. I have my books published a small number of hardcover color pictures, and I send those as thank you. They cost me about 30 bucks to print. You can't send a good box of chocolates for 30 bucks. But if you send a hardcover book, the person that hired you is very likely going to keep that on her shelf. And when someone phones her and says, can you recommend the speaker? There it is, it's staring in her face. So I use it as a thank you. And that has shown good returns. Those 30 bucks for, for those hardcover books is a tremendous investment. Wow. Ninja. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> for these tips, Les. I mean, you kind of just blew, our, blew our socks off there. How to use your book really uh, to not only secure more speaking events, but to get in the hands of whoever is in the audience um, and build connection with those who do get it that are paid for by the speaking event. Um, and also personalize it and, and, and use your time wisely connecting with each person to then, hey, get a few more recommendations. We talk so much about getting in to, to talk, getting to the gatekeepers, getting to the people that make the decisions. Well, jeepers, if, if you send the gatekeeper, if you send the decision maker a book, it's going to stay there. And you know, want to put in a little note saying, I appreciate you hiring me. And uh, I know that you were too busy during the event. You probably didn't have time to listen to my presentation. Here's a copy of my book that you might find interesting. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's, a great, it's a great marketing tool. Absolutely, sending them uh, a reminder of you. I like the idea of also having a hardcover version that could be really cool. And the investment, 30 bucks to generate uh, more speaking engagements. They're going to keep you, that's going to keep them, that's going to keep you top of their mind when they get approached. And, and I have a guy that, that does those. Those are handmade and it's got the ribbon in it, you know, the bookmark and the whole deal. Like it's a, it's a, it's a, that's a keeper copy. People like that. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't like to get a hard cover book with an inscription in it and the ribbon bookmark yep we all do it's beautiful <clears throat> it's a great tip um i've used i've used my book when i when i did go to you know speaking events uh even if i wasn't or networking events even if i wasn't speaking i would always have i mean once you have a book i keep a box of these in the back of my car uh, I always take a few copies with me when I sit on a plane because people say, oh, what do you do? And I tell them, oh, you know, the, the easiest thing, the easiest, fastest way to impress anybody is to tell them I'm an, you're an author. <gasps> and yep. then just give them a copy of your book. I mean, yep. this, I can't tell you how many clients I've picked up going to events. I always keep a box of these in my car. 
And, you know, I, I carry a few in my purse when I'm at the event. And when somebody comes up to talk with me, I say, yeah, here you go. Why don't I give you a copy of my book? They're like, you're going to give me one? I say, yeah, what the heck? Let me write it, you know, sign it. And in, 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 instantly, what just happened there is this person's like, holy smokes, who am I talking to now? Like, wait a minute. Ooh, perception just changed. You don't know me from a hole in the wall. Yes, I'm six foot two. I look like Barbie with my Amazon Barbie with my freaking high heels on, big freaking whoopies. Still don't, I still don't know me from a hole in the wall. I just put a book in your hand. Oh my God. You just signed autograph. Ooh, ooh, yep. who's this? Instant credibility. And a lot of clients, you know, they, they will, I'm going to check you out. I even left some of these with my hairdresser, okay? Because so many women come in talking about the, the topic of this book, you know, confidence, being in bad relationships, or, you know, how do you overcome that? Uh, she said, can you leave me a copy? Every time I go to the hairdresser, I have all these conversations and women would, you know, be like, I want a copy of your book. I want to know. So I said, here, leave her a whole bunch. You know, if women want to pay 10 or 20 bucks for a copy, sweet, you know, um, so you can, you can even pick up clients at the hairdressers with a book. Don't leave home without it. Anytime you get Absolute, on a plane, Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You know, give them away. This is like, you impress the pants off anybody. So some, some tips here uh, of how I've used it, uh, how Les has seen a lot of his clients use the book to get, um, to keep top of mind, uh, keep top of mind, get more exposure, get more speaking engagements. Uh, some phenomenal tips here shared today. So I hope that we have really inspired you. There's a much simpler way to get your book written. If you've, especially if you've been like Kelly and I, who sat on it for five years, Kelly was a, t she is a teacher. <laughs> she teaches writing. So everybody needs a coach, even experts. Don't, you know, beat yourself up about it. Um, but the, with the accountability and the structure, uh, and the experience, Les has put together an amazing boot camp. It's virtual. If you can't, uh, you know, be in you know local places now with this whole uh, lockdown, do the boot camp. And the the boot camp gives you gives you a sample of it, um, and and it's pretty intense. And then uh, you know, then you can decide if if you want to try it on your own. I mean, I teach you the format, and if you want to. Um, to go through it with the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, we'll get your book done in six months with, with weekly calls. Um, that's how, how rad would that be in the next six months? So today is we're in. Uh, you would have, if you start at the beginning of June, you will have your book in your hands this year. You could, you could pre-order, you yeah. could sell pre-ordered books as Christmas gifts. That would be pretty rad, my friends. Pretty We're going to start awesome. next week, though. <laughs> well, I hope this inspires people. To, you know, you put together something really rad, and it's super affordable. You know, it's uh, this thing, you know, 500 bucks, you get yourself rolling, you get yourself into action, you get the clarity that you need. And uh, whether you decide to do it on your own and, you know, once you have the format, which is, I think that's the hardest part for people is deciding the topic, what are we going to do, chapter is going to be about, what is that, that, you know, 2000 word per chapter, 50,000 word manuscript, what's the outline, what's the topic, where's the direction, what it was, it, what is it going to do for me, getting that uh, together. And then, I mean, what an incredible what an incredible experience and tool, you know, whether you, whether you want to use it for business or use it for, you know, your own healing process, what an incredible freaking tool. I, six years later, folks, I'm still using this book on my videos. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite, a, it's quite an in incredible tool. All right. And I highly recommend that you work with Les. I've sent him many clients throughout the years, including people on our team. Uh, even, even experts need coaches and support with this process. And again, the website is lessthebookcoach.com. Look for the virtual I, I, boot camp button. I see one question that I have to answer. 
Yeah. Because then, this is what keeps then, people from calling. Is is beneficial to have 25 things ready before a consultation? No, no, no. Call me and we'll work through that. Don't beat yourself up beforehand. Yeah. Uh, the clarity is going to happen when you when you get on with less. And again, the website is lessthebookcoach.com. Make sure you put in Take Your Power Back Now to save uh, and get the discount that he's offered us as well as the one hour with him. And if you're struggling with what to call the book, uh, I have two books. Less, can I do two books? Uh, you know, which book should I do first? Uh, I have a piece of the book over here. I already have it written. Can you help me get it published over there? Whatever your questions are, I think after uh, hearing our conversation here today, you can, um, you, hopefully you've understood what an expert less is, how long he's been in the game, the resources that he has, um, Heidi says, thank you so much. Tons of helpful information. Absolutely. Um, so don't delay. I mean, what else are you guys going to do here? It's, uh, it's this, everyone's <laughs> kind of stuck inside now. People are growing gardens, they're fixing their house, they're writing their books. You know, we have the time now to actually do the things that we've said for so long that we want to get, uh, get going and get doing. And, um, it's, it's a rad, it is a rad experience writing a book. It is a rad personal transformation. I'll tell you what, to open the mail, rip open that envelope, hold your book, and actually get someone to video you. Yeah, it. yes. Yeah, yeah. Good, great FYI. idea. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. FYI, okay? Because that, that goes out on social media as well. Um, and you'll find, you know, tons and tons of ways to use, even six years later, going through the book, you know, uh, and then using, finding a new piece of content to, to put it out, whether on your video content, on your website, turning into a program. I mean, there's, there's finding speaking events, speaking engagements, uh, picking up clients and networking events. The list is endless. So a super tool, you guys. Hope you take us up on um, the very generous offer to work with Les. Uh, thank you, Les, for tuning in here today and sharing all of these awesome tips and making it possible for our viewers to uh, start this amazing process with you. Thank you, Kelly, for sharing. One more, one more blockbuster announcement. Till this time, I have only worked with nonfiction. And I am starting a new part of my business. We are gonna put together a virtual boot camp for fiction writers. I've been fooling around with it for, uh, a, about a year on, on getting the process. So next time you have me back, we'll talk about fiction writing and yes, we can. And I just wanna say one thing real quick. Um, Les is worth the investment in so many ways because he started out as my book coach and he became my friend and a mentor. And I'm just incredibly grateful for the kick in the butt some days and the real hard um, kind of conversations. Um, so you're getting, I can't even put an, uh, uh, an emphasis on the value that you will, that you will get if this is the decision that you make and it'll be well worth it. And for those of you that know Vanessa's work um, and know that she believes in manifestation and bringing things into your life, um, as Les will attest to you, um, as I wrote this book, I was having to learn some of the lessons and the universe was really <laughs> challenging me do you really believe in what you're writing about, right? And the bottom line is um, you always attract what you need and want. So if this is a big investment and you're looking at it like, I don't know, yes, invest in it, do it for yourself. It's going to pay back dividends. Maybe not right away, but as Vanessa and I know in divine timing, it, it absolutely will. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> You're getting a quite um, an experience and uh, resources and a friendship less. I mean, it's been six years since I wrote the book and I had to have you come on here and do uh, one of our Love Leaders Unite because, um, you know, you know, like I, I look back, I'm like, wow. <laughs> what has happened in the last six years you know wow that was a big this really kicked it all off guys so uh super grateful super super grateful to you les and uh thank you for sharing uh kelly could not agree more hope you guys take less up on the offer again less the um imagine what can happen here in the next six months the transformation of being a published 
author. Thank you again. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Les. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in here live for our Love Leaders Unite. I'm Vanessa Simpkins, your host from TakeYourPowerBackNow.com saying um, thank you and have an amazing day and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.